to. Yes, it is. All right. So Kung Fu, what is Kung Fu? Kung Fu is a martial art that was developed in China a long time ago so that people can stay healthy and they can stay strong and learn some self-defense to protect themselves. So we're going to start by showing courtesy to one another. You're going to put your right fist and your left palm and show courtesy. That's how we bow in Kung Fu. That's me saying, I respect you and you respect me. All right, so the first position that we're going to start off in is going to be a San. You're going to put your feet separate and your hands behind your back just like this. Now, the second position is called joint. When I call joint, you're going to go this way. You want to hit your hands hard, breathe out through your nose like this, and bring your feet together. So let's try it. We're going to go to hey San, and we're going to go quickly to joint. Then you're going to go to mobble. You're going to move your feet separate, and you're going to sit down low, almost like you're sitting on a chair, and hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. And hey, son, very good. That is one of our stances. That's what we used to build our legs nice and strong. So let's try one more time. Everybody go to joint. Then you're going to go to mobble and hold it. Now we're going to show our second stance, which is gumbo. So you're going to step out to your right side and go big, long stance. This is gumbo and hold it. Five, four, Three, two, one. Now you're going to go back to Mabo. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, Kumbo. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hey, son, shake it out. Now, with the stances, we keep our hands together. And you want to press them really, really hard so that they start to shake. That's going to keep your upper body strong while you're also getting your legs strong. So now we're going to work on the third stance called Dingbo. So we have Mabo, which is the horse stance, Gumbo, which is the front stance, and then Dingbo, which is the cat stance, that front leg on your tippy toe. So let's try it. Hey, son. And now we're going to go to Jake. And then Mabo. Now, right side first, say Goombo, and hold it. Now, you're going to slide to Dingbo, say Dingbo, and then you're going to go to Mobble, and sit down low. Other side, Goombo, and hold it. Now, we go to Dingbo, and hold it, and Mobble. Very good. Now we're going to move a little bit faster. Count with me. We're going to count in Chinese. Say, yan. Yeah. Yi. Sun. Other way, yan. Yi. Sun. You got to stay low in those stances. How are you going to get strong? Ready? Yan. Yi. Sun. Last time, yan. Yi. Sun. And hold it. Sit low. How low can you go? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And hey, son. Very good. Now you're going to put your feet together and touch your toes. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now put your right leg over the left. Try to keep that back leg straight and stretch down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And switch left leg over the right now. And stretch down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hey, son, very good. Now we're going to move on to some push ups. Remember, when you do your push ups, you want to keep your back straight and your legs straight. You want to bend your elbows and come down. Now I want you to count with me in Chinese. Say, 
yat ye some say hmm lok chat pat kao sup very good and hey son shake it out all right very good now we're gonna learn our first punch today is called pink coon say pink coon now watch you're gonna put your hands up and i want you to give me a big thumbs up and take your thumb and wrap it around your wrist your fingers this way you don't want your thumb to be sticking out because if you punch that way you can hurt yourself and you don't want it to be in here if you punch that way you're gonna break your thumb so like a big thumbs up and wrap it around here good now when we punch one hand is gonna be by your waist and then it's gonna switch and we're always punching in marble so let's try it hey son and joint and marble now you're gonna put your hands at your waist and put your right fist out Ready, count with me. Yat, ye, sum, se, hmm, lok, chat, pat, kao, sa. Good, now we're gonna do 10 more really fast. Yat, ye, sum, se, hmm, lok, chat, pat, Go, sup, and shake it out. We're gonna stretch, separate your feet, grab your ankles and stretch down. Try to get your head as close to the floor as possible. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch to the right side. Try to get your forehead to your knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and switch other side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hey son, now we're going to work our fourth stance called Kuo Ma Boa. That is the hanging stance. So, joy. Ma Boa. Now, raising the right leg up first. You're going to go to Kuo Ma Boa and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to Ma Boa and sit down low. Then you rise up on the other side. Kuo Ma Boa, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, ma bo, five, four, three, two, one, go ma bo, five, four, three, two, one, ma bo. And now we're gonna move fast. Count with me, say, ya, e, sum, say, hmm, bo, chat, but, Go, suck, and hold that stance, five, four, three, two, one, and hey son, very good. Now we're gonna move on to our second punch, Hong Kun. So the fist position is the same, the thumb wrapped on the outside, but instead of punching this way, the fist is gonna be up and down. So let's try it, you're gonna go Punching in the marble position, everybody. Joint. Marble. Put your right fist out. Ready. Yat. Yi. Sum. Se. Hmm. Lo. Shot. Pot. Gao. Sup. Now a little bit faster. Yat. Yi. Sum. Se. Hmm. Lo. Fun, go, sup, and hold it. Squeeze your fist tight. Squeeze it strong, and hey, it's on. 
Now we're gonna stretch our hip and stretch our knee and work on our balance. You're gonna hold your right foot and try and pull it up to your belly button. Just try to stay focused on your balance. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Okay, sun. Now we're gonna move on to our third strike called the tiger claw, say Fu Jiao. So with Fu Jiao, the tiger claw, what you're gonna do, you're gonna tense all your fingers up and instead of having a hand like this, pull your wrist back, you're hitting with the bottom of your palm. So we're gonna do that in the Goombo stance. So watch, you're gonna go to Goombo and you're just gonna turn your feet this way. Then with the hand, you're gonna have it point towards the camera, and you're gonna turn and change. Turn and change. Let's try it. Hey, son. And as fast as you can. Very good. And left gumbo. Left hand out. Ready? Yat. Yi. Count with me. Son. Say. Hmm. Look. Chad. But. Go. Suck. A little bit faster now. Ready? Yeah. Yi. Some. Say. Hmm. Look. Chad. But. Go. Suck. And hold this sit low in that stance. How strong are you? Let's see your strength. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, son. And straddle split. Put your hands flat on the ground and open up the stretch as wide as you can go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Very good. And hey, son. Now we worked on a bunch of different punches. Now we're going to work on some blocking. So our blocking hand is going to be all of our fingers together and our thumb tucked on the side. We're going to work on what we call the four palm block. So watch, you're going to start with your right hand. Block, ya, yi, sam, se. So on the downward one, your hand's gonna look like this and block on the side this way. So one more time. Ready, ya, yi, sam, se. On this one, all your fingers are together. Now we're gonna switch hands. Yat, yi, sum, se. Again, other hand. Yat, yi, sum, se. Yat, other hand. Yi, sum, se. And hey, son, now we're gonna do it in mobile. Okay, son, and fast. Big pop. Hands in chamber, starting with the right hand first. Ready? Yan. Yi. Son. Se. Yan. Switching hands. Yi. Son. Se. Again. Yan. Yi. Son. Se. Yan. Yi. Some say now we're gonna do a super duper fast. Ready? Yeah. 
，一，三，四，一，一，三，四，一，一，三，四，一，一，三，四 ，and he sang. Excellent job. Now the next blocking set, we're going to be blocking with our forearms. So watch. You're going to block with the right side first, blocking up. Up and to the side and to the side again. Up, blocking with your form just like this. Up, side, side. Very good. Now remember, with the other hand, it can't just be hanging out to the side. It has to go right back to chamber one more time. Up, and remember, other hand is in chamber. Up. Side, side. Very good. Now let's try it in the marble. A sun and break. And put your hands in chamber, blocking with the right side first. Ready? Yat, ye, sun, say or say with me. Block up, up. Side, side, up, up, side, side again. Up, up, side, side, up, up, side, side. A little faster. Up, up, side, side. Side, side, up, up, side, side, up, up, side, side, and hey, son, excellent job. Now we stretch, feet together, butterfly stretch. You want to keep your feet together this way and pull them in close to your body. Bounce your knees up and down. Try to get them to the floor. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Head down. Try to get your head down to your shoes. Ten. Try to get both hands to touch your toes, and try to get your forehead down to your knee. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Left side. Try to keep your legs straight when you stretch. If your leg is bent, you're cheating, and it's not going to get you any stronger. Try to get that head down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we're going to pop back into our straddle split. So put your hand on the ground and slide it out. Try and hold yourself up as best you can. Ten, nine. Try to keep those toes up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Sit back and stretch forward. Try to get your forehead down to the floor. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch to your right side. Try to get your your forehead down to your knee, keeping your legs straight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. 
four, three, two, one, and switch other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together. Touch your toes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And base on. Very good job. All right. Now we're going to work on some of our basic kicks. So everybody watch. You're going to put your hands up in guard position to protect your head, and you're gonna put your right foot back, and you're gonna be on your tippy toe with your right leg. So it's gonna look this way. This foot is, this leg is bent, but the foot is flat, the back leg, the toe is up. So pointed like this and not like this for this one. If you kick up with this one and you hit with your toe, you can hurt your toe. Nobody wants to hurt their toe, right? So first we're gonna do it real slow, movement by movement, raising with the knee, kick, knee, and back to fighting stance. Knee, kick, knee, back to fighting stance. One more time, knee. Knee, and back to fighting stance. Now, I'm gonna count in Chinese, and I want you to count with me when I kick. I'm gonna count, so ready, ya. Yi, sum, se, hmm, wok, chan, ban, gao, very good. Now I want you to switch stance and jump up and switch your stance. Switch. Now you should be kicking with the other leg. We're going to do it slow at first. Knee. Kick. Knee. Back to fighting stance. Knee. Kick. Knee. Back to fighting stance. One more time. Knee. Kick. Knee. And back to Fighting stance. Now we're going to do it fast. Try to keep with the count. Ready? Yup. Yee. Sum. Say. Boom. Book. Chut. Bun. Go. Sup. Very good. And hey, son. So that was arrow kick. Arrow kick is a low kick to the no-no parts. Now, the next kick is thrust kick. It's very similar, but instead of kicking with the shoelaces, you're gonna be kicking with the heel, the bottom of the foot. And it's gonna be, instead of kicking below the belt, you're gonna be kicking up to your chest. So as opposed to kicking down here, you're gonna be kicking way up there. And notice the foot, is flex this way, but you're not hitting with your toe, you're hitting with the bottom of your foot that way. So it's the same story, let's try it everybody. Great, guard up, right foot back, ready, knee. Now remember, gotta kick a little bit high on this one. Kick, knee, and come back. Knee, kick, knee, come back, knee. Kick, knee, and come back. Now we move fast. Keep with the count. Ready? Yup. Yi. Sun. Set. Hmm. Look. Chat. What? Go. Sup. Very good. Now we're going to switch sides the same way. Jump up high, switch the legs. Switch. 
Keep those hands up. Now we're gonna move it slow. Ready? Knee. Kicking with the heel. Kick. Knee. And bring it back. Knee. Kick. Knee. Bring it back. Ready? Knee. Kick. Knee. And now get ready to keep it with the count. We gotta go fast this time. Ready? Yuck. Yee. Sun. Say. Yee. Low. Chot. Bot. Dao. Sup. Very good. Hey, son. Now we're going to move on to Young Tech Stretch Kick. So for this one, you're gonna hold your hands out to the side. And on this one, like the other two kicks we hit in, you bend your knee on this one, you're gonna keep your legs straight. On this one, you're gonna keep your legs straight and go up and down as high as you can. One more time, you wanna keep those arms out straight and go kick, swing your leg up high, high as you can. So let's try it. Hey, son. And straight. Put your right foot back. Hands up. Ready, kicking with the right leg first. Swinging up and down. Yat. Yi. Son. Say. Keep those arms up. Hmm. Go. Chut. Sup. And we're gonna switch sides. Get ready to jump back. Switch. Keeping those hands up. Other side. Ready. Up. Yee. Yeah. Sup. Say. Hmm. Whoa. Cut. Butt. Go. Sup. Very good, hey son. All right. Now we're gonna move on to our inside crescent kick. So our inside crescent kick is gonna be a big half circle. Just like the Yantek, you're gonna swing it, but you're gonna swing it in a circle. So this leg, my back leg, is gonna come to this hand. This way, so put your right hand out. Sorry, your left hand out, your right foot back. Ready, watch, you're gonna bring it around and hit your foot. Bring it around and hit your foot. Ready, yacht. And you should hear the sound of your hand hitting your foot. Yee, sun, set. Get ready to change sides. Switch. Now, kicking with your left leg, your right hand should be out. Ready? Yup. Same story, big circle. Yee. Sun. Set. Very good, now we're gonna move on to outside crescent kick. So that was inside, now we're doing outside. So now my right leg is back and my right hand is forward. So it's the same side. And I'm gonna do a big circle this way now. So my right leg is hitting my right hand this way. So try it, one, good, two, Three. Good, now for real this time. Ready? Yup. Yee. Gonna right, kick up high. Sun. Say. Hmm. 
Switch sides. Other leg. Now you're going to hit with the left hand and the left leg. Get three trial ones first. Ready? One. Two. Three. Now for real. Ready? Go. Yee. Son. Say. Lok Chat Fight Gao Sup And hey son, very good. Now I'm gonna give you guys about a minute to go take a sip of water before we move on. If you want, you can take a sip. If not, just feel free and wait for a second. Because now we're going to move on to the beginning of our form training. So it's 4.36. I'll wait until 4.37 so everybody can grab a sip of water. All right, it is 4.37, so we're going to get started again. So the first thing that we're going to learn is the bow. Every class that starts and ends with the bow. So there's a certain footwork to it, there's a certain hand movement. So to start, we're just going to cover the footwork. So I'm going to call out which feet you're going to use, and I want you to follow. So the stance that the bow is in is dingbo, the stance we did earlier. So watch, you're gonna stomp right foot first, then put your left foot out, and then you're gonna bring your right foot back, and then bring your feet together. So that's the footwork for the bow. So it's gonna be right, Mommy. left, left, right. One more time, ready, right, Left, left, right. Again, right, left, left, right. Now I'm taking really big steps. You don't have to take really big steps. They're actually really small steps. I'm showing you big steps just so you can see better. Again, right, left, left, right. Again, right, left, left, right. One more time, right, left, left, right. Very good. Now we're gonna work on the hand movement. So watch. So it's a four count, just like the feet. So you're gonna put together one, two, and you're gonna circle three and then go to chamber four again one two three four one two three four one two three four last time one two three four very good now we're gonna put it together with the footwork let's go and do the feet separate one more time so just the count which is gonna be one two three four so together you have one two three four again one, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. 
Very good. Now, the reason we do a bow at the beginning and end of every class, it's a little bit more than just saying hello. When we do our bow, it's me showing respect to all of my students and all of my students showing respect to their teachers. Because in this world, you don't get anywhere if you don't have respect for anybody else. So you have to show respect to everyone, not just me, not just mom and dad, but to everybody. So that's why we end and start every class with a bow. Now, outside of the bow, we're gonna start our first form called the line form number one. So it's very simple for some, some people struggle a little bit, but just do your best and follow along. So we're gonna start in pace on, then you're gonna move on to joint. Now, you're gonna block with the left, then punch with the right. Let's just try that for now. Okay, son, everybody, joint. Then you're gonna block left, punch right. Again, okay, son, joint. Block left, punch right. One more time, hey, son, everybody, joint. Lock one, punch two. Now the next movement, you're gonna go to chamber and step out to mabo. And we're gonna leave it there for right now. Okay, son, everybody, joint. Lock, left, punch, chamber. Step out to mabo and hold it. Let's try it again. Hey, son, everybody, break. ready, block, left, punch right, chamber, step to mabo, and now you're gonna block with the left hand down. Again, hey, son, and strong and fast, ready, break. block, punch, Chamber, step to my ball, block. Again, hey son, so that's just the beginning part of it. There's a few more steps to it, but we'll get to that over time. Next class, we'll be adding more and more and more and so on as the classes progress. Hey son, everybody, break, and block, punch. Chamber, step to my ball, and block down. Hey, son, now we're gonna keep repeating this a few more times because the only way you ever get good at anything is by doing it over and over and over again. Again, hey, son, and break. Block, punch, chamber, step, and block. Very good, hey son. And let's backtrack a little bit and let's go back to working on that bow again. Let's see if you guys remember. Hey son, everybody, drink. And ready, just the feet now. One, and two, and three, and four. Now just the hands. One, and two, and three, and four. Four. Now let's put it together. Ready? One, and two, and three, and four. Again. One, and two, and three, and four. A little faster now. One, and two, and three, and four. Again. One, and two, and three, and four. Last time. One, and two, and three, and four. Very good. Now. Let's try and do it as one movement. So I'm gonna call it joy, and then I'm gonna say bow. We do the bow, the whole thing, as one movement. Let's try it. Hey, son, everybody, three, bow. One, two, three, four. Again, hey, son, everybody, three, bow. One, two, three, four. Very good, now let's go back to that line form. Okay, son, and everybody, drink. And lock, 
punch. Chamber. Step. Block. Okay, son. Straight. Block. Punch. Chamber. Step. Block. One more time. Hey, son, everybody. Straight. Block. Punch. Chamber. Step. And block. Hey, son. Very good. Now, I'm going to introduce you to one more kick. This kick is one of the hardest kicks to teach, one of the hardest kicks to learn. This is a side kick. So watch. Just watch first before you follow. So with a side kick, you want to turn, and this bottom foot that's pointing to the camera, it needs to point behind you. So you're going to turn and pick up the back leg. That's all we're going to do for now. So you're going to keep your guard up. You're going to turn to the side. Now this foot should be almost pointing behind you and pick up the, the back leg. Again, one more time. So that front foot pivots or turns to point behind you and you pick up that front leg. So that's what we're going to do for now. I'm going to call it. You're going to go up and back. Try your best to follow along. This is difficult. If you don't get it the first time, that's okay. Don't get frustrated. It takes a very long time to get this. Ready? Yuck. And go back. Remember, turning that foot. Yee. And some. Say. Hmm. Look. Chop. Very good. Now we're going to move on to the other side. So switch. Now your right leg is forward. You'll be kicking with your left. Same story. You want that front foot to point behind you. Ready. Yacht. And then go back. He. Some. Say. Mm. Oh. Chat. But. Go. Sup. Very good. Now, we're going to work on the side kick without the turning of the foot. So if you can grab a chair or put your hand up against the wall, what you're going to do is you're already going to have your foot pointing behind you. So I'm going to set up like I was here. So my foot in that position here. And I'm going to hold on to the chair or the wall. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up my leg in that position. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick out and then come back. So on the other side, it's going to look like this. If my fighting stance was here, my foot needs to point that way. So it's pointing behind me now. I pick up the leg, and when I kick, the foot goes out and comes back, and then I put it down. All the while, you want to keep your guard up. Since you're using the chair or the wall, keep the one hand up just to get used to it. That's a very important habit to get into. So keep your hand up, set that foot the right way, and look where you're kicking. Ready, up. Kick, back, down. So we're going to do it like we did earlier. You're going to pick up that knee, kick, knee, and then back down. Ready? Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick, knee. Back down. Knee. Kick. Knee. Down. Knee. Kick. 
knee down. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. So now my fighting stance would be this way. So my foot needs to point that way. Ready, keeping that hand up. Knee, kick, knee, back down. Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick, knee, down. Knee, kick. Knee, down, last one. Knee, kick, knee, and shake it out. Hey, son, good job. All right. Now, remember, this is a lot of information you got today, a lot of different things you're doing, which is great. You have a lot of things to do, a lot of things you can work on on your own. But that's just the thing. You have to make sure you're practicing constantly at home. They say that the good student is made at home. That's why in school, you get homework so that everything that you learn sticks with you. So you remember it so that you practice it and you get good at it. So make sure you practice at home. We're gonna go over everything, the bow, the line form, one more time, and we're gonna move on to our closing. So let's try the bow one more time, then the line fold one more time, and then we're gonna move on to the end. So hey son, everybody join. And bow. One and two and three and four. And you know what? Let's do that one more time, everybody. One and two and three and four. Now the line form very quickly, everybody join. Block. Punch, chamber, step out, and block down. One more time. Hey, son, everybody. Uh, block, punch, chamber, step, and block down. Very good. Now, we're going to close the class with a little sitting meditation. So what we're going to do, you're going to sit down wherever you're comfortable. You can sit down in a chair. You can sit down crisscross. This is just how I'm comfortable. And now, boys, you're going to put your right hand on top. Girls, you're going to put your left hand on top. And you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to breathe in till I count to four. Then you're going to hold it till I count to two. Then you're going to breathe out till I count to four, and hold it till I count to two. So I'm going to be counting the whole time. You're going to keep your eyes closed and try and focus on relaxing and breathing. So let's try it. Close your eyes and breathe in two three four hold two out two three four hold two breathe in two three four hold two breathe out two three four hold two breathe in two three four hold two out, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe in, two, Three, four, hold, two, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, and breathe out, two, three, four, and open your eyes, relax, and haste on. Now, don't have much more time left, so for those of you that joined late, Let's give you a more formal introduction. My name is Seek 